Stay tuned for air handy tactics. <laughs>Welcome to another episode of Aragon Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we get to take the mystery out of something pretty special. This is the Gamo Hunter Extreme Pro in 22 caliber, and this is exclusively put out by Gamo, so you can't purchase it anywhere but directly at Gamo. And I got a heck of a deal on one. Uh, got it on sale. You can probably check it out probably on their website. They probably still have some of these left. But anyway, before we get into this, do me a favor. If you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. Won't cost you anything, it's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I got various t-shirts, I got hats, I got my generation two bipods, and I also have a temporary amount of little silhouette targets, and these are pretty awesome. They're much, much nicer than the competitions. Go on the website, check them out. Also have a lot of my inventory that I'm liquidating, so check that out as well, because usually I only have one of everything, and uh, when it's gone, it's gone. So check that out. Anyway, let's get back to the subject on hand. Yes, this beautiful gun right here is an exclusive from Gamo. And as I was saying, I picked it up off their website. Um, they were having an incredible sell. And who knows, maybe they're still going on. We'll see. Anyway, this is a brake barrel, 22 caliber. This features their IGT Mach 1 piston. And this is the largest... Uh, chamber they uh, put out, Gamma does. This is the 33 millimeter cylinder, so this is clearly their magnum. This does come with the cat trigger, which is one of my favorites, absolutely. It does have a recoil reducing rail. It does not come with a scope. It does not come with a scope. It does have open sights though. You got the fiber optic, you've got the uh, green in the back, and you've got the red in the front. So it does have the fiber optic. In fact, the scope that's on here, Ironically, this is a BSA Outlook scope. This is what they put out specifically for brake barrels. And guess what? BSA is now owned by Gamo. But I got this on uh, Super Duper Sale as well. I'll leave you guys a link below for that. But anyway, it matches up nice with this. Plus, I like the adjustable objective. Um, this also comes with this gorgeous beechwood stock. And I am going to guess this is something out of the BSA portion of the Gamo family because this stock is just unbelievable. I think the closest one to this is the, um, the Gamo Bone Collector, the Generation 2 and 3. That's gorgeous. That's along the same lines of this, but it's uh, ambidextrous, just beautiful wood stock with this nice checkered inlay. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's quite the match. It really is. So the beautiful, beautiful um, stock. This also features their um, Whisper Fusion. It's their silent technology, which they've got that down pat. That really works well. This gun weighs, eh, without the optics on it, probably right around that eight pound mark, really close. Um, it's 49 inches overall, so it's a long gun. Like I said, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not a small gun. And it does have their 18 inch barrel on it. It's got a beautiful blued finish on it. Uh, they're claiming this has about a 41 pound caulking effort. I would dispute that a little bit. I think it's a little bit heavier. They also claim that this can do up to 1300 feet per second with a light alloy pellet. Well, we're going to take it out and test it and we'll check down the performance as far as that goes. But what a beautiful gun. Once again, this is a, this is a um, Gamo exclusive, so you're not going to be able to get this at any one of the other air gun places, only Gamo themselves. So I'm really glad I picked it up. And, and like I said, I got a really good sell on it. I think it, I'll be honest with you, I think it was around the 250 mark, right around there. So that was, that was a heck of a deal. With tax and that, you know, it, it obviously got up a little higher, but that was kind of right around that mid range area. So anyway, let's go out and test this thing. Let's check the performance and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. Let's test our Hunter Extreme Pro over the chronograph. Uh, I'm going to show you two pellets, but the first one I'm going to show you, which is the most accurate, which is the Barracuda Green. We've had luck with these in previous videos with our Magnums, but this, once again, it's the best pellet for this rifle as far as uh, accuracy goes. So these are around a 13 grain pellet. So what we're going to do is we'll shoot five shots over the crony, we'll average it out, get you your foot-pounds of energy, and then I'm going to show you how it did with a, another pellet. All right. 
So, shot number one. 1,018. It's a pretty good velocity. Okay, shot number two. 1,026. Shot number three. I don't have a lot of shots through this rifle, so it's going to vary as far as standard deviation. This is shot number three. 1023. And we got shot number four. Thousand twelve. And I think we got one more. Thousand thirty six. Yeah, I don't have a lot of shots through this. I probably got less than 50, 60, probably right around there. So it still needs to break in. So your standard deviation is going to be a little high, but you see what the potential is. That's crazy. We're averaging around that 30 foot-pounds of energy. Another pellet did pretty well is this 18 grain uh, dead center by JTS. They actually group pretty well. They average about 850 feet per second, and we got a whopping right around that 30 um, foot-pounds of energy. So we're getting about 30 foot-pounds of energy out of this brake barrel, which I think is absolutely pretty amazing, and which it deserves the title of the uh, Hunter Extreme there. Pro, actually. All right, so let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's test the accuracy out on our Gamo uh, Hunter here, our Extreme Pro. What we're going to do is I showed you the um, one of the better pellets during the chronograph, which is also the Barracuda Green is one of the most accurate pellets on these. Uh, number two is probably the JTS Dead Centers, but we're going to go with the most accurate. These are the Barracuda Greens. We are our usual 20 yards. That's why I kind of like to test the brake barrels because kind of how the way my yard's set up. But we're at our usual 20 yards. Go ahead and check that out. And then we're going to be shooting our usual splatter burst targets here. But guess what? You see the four inch targets here? We'll see these little teeny targets right here. We're actually going to use those. Am I feeling cocky? No, I'm feeling confident because off camera I've been shooting some great groups with this, so I want to see if I can do it on camera. So the goal is, is going to be able to try to get all those pellets inside that little teeny circle. So we'll see what we can do here. But again, we're going to do the Barracuda Greens. And uh, let's just see how well we can make this thing group. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty confident because I shot a bunch of good shots off camera. So let's see if we can do it on camera now. All right. And here we go. Shot number one. Oh yeah, gotta like that. And shot two. Yep. And shot number three. And one more. I'm not going to jinx this. I'm going to make sure it stays inside that little circle there. Gotta love it. So we did it on camera. Yeah, I'm telling you, I shot a bunch of those off camera, so I said, you know what, let's just take the chance to see if we can do it. Yeah, this actual rifle is really accurate. Um, Gamma is really picking up their game, I can tell you, because the last several rifles that I reviewed, um, they have been just extremely accurate, so you got to like that. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next segment. Okay, let's test the trigger on our Hunter Extreme Pro. Now, full disclosure, I installed my trigger screw kit in that. Best $10 you will ever spend on a Gamble rifle, I promise you, without a doubt. So these have the CAT triggers. Uh, trigger screw kit works on both the CAT and the SAT triggers. But it'll make all the difference in the world. I can tell you out of the box, these are around 5-pound triggers. Not bad, a little heavy. But I'm telling you, when you upgrade it, you're going to turn it into a match trigger for 10 bucks. So let's see what this one actually breaks at. So we've got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. 
see where we're at here. One pound, 11 ounces. One pound, 11 ounces. You gotta like it. I'm telling you, these are like match triggers. They really are. Best 10 bucks you'll ever spend. All right, let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's try out our Hunter Extreme Pro at some plinking distance. We're uh, roughly our 40 yards, our usual difference. Um, what we're gonna use today is, remember I told you guys the two best pellets were the Barracuda Green as far as accuracy, they had the edge. But these JTS, these 18 grains actually work pretty good, these dead centers. So a little more di distance, we got a little breeze going. So let's use the heavier pellets today. We'll use the 18 grains, see how well we do. Anyway, uh, go ahead and check out our distance. We're 40 plus yards. Oh, what's that? Does that look like an air gun detective star target? Yeah, that might be uh, in my future on my website. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm testing those out, see how durable they are. Anyway, and then what do we have? We've got uh, chicken, a couple eggs. Yes, the chicken comes before the eggs. And then uh, another chicken. So let's just see if we can knock those out. And uh, we'll go from there. i got plenty of pellets. If we miss, we miss. Hopefully we won't. But you never can tell. All right. So. Let's take out the air gun detective star first off. All righty. Oh, yeah. And let's take out the next chicken. Yes, the chicken before the egg. Oh, yeah. And let's see if we can follow that up with an egg. Oops. Follow that up with an egg. Oh, yeah. And one more egg. Yep. And let's see if we can finish it off with our last chicken there. Oh, yeah. Wow, this thing hits hard. It really does. You got to like that. Definitely earns its name, Pro Hunter. All right, let's uh, go to the next segment and wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Wow, wow, that's all I have to say, wow. That was an outstanding performance. It really was. What a beast is this? So let's, uh, like anything else, let's talk about the negatives. Okay, I have none, just to let you know. I have no negatives on this rifle whatsoever. The only thing I will is caution some of you out there, because this rifle is a beast, this is a Magnum, this has a heavy cocking effort. And I'm gonna guess it's gonna be in the mid 40s to the upper 40s, somewhere around there, it just depends. But what do you expect? You want Magnum performance, you're gonna have to put a little effort into it. And like anything else, it's always tougher in the beginning. Once you get used to it, and you start doing it more often, you're gonna get a little stronger, you'll get used to the process. But wow, this is definitely a Magnum rifle. But let's talk about a lot of the positives here. Number one, let's talk about the accuracy. The accuracy on this thing was unbelievable. Once again, Gamo is stepping up their games. We got quarter inch groups at 20 yards. And that was shooting that uh, lighter pellet too, the 13 grain pellet. It just loves those Barracuda greens, it really does. So with that performance, we're getting clearly 30 foot pounds of energy. Check out how many brake barrels you get 30 foot-pounds of energy. I promise you, you can count them on one hand, without a doubt. So what an amazing performance. And then you top it with this beautiful wood stock. The stock on it is absolutely gorgeous. And, I, and again, I'm gonna say, this kind of reminds me of the BSA stocks, and I know Gamo and BSA, some, same company now. So something tells me this stock was, either came out or was designed out of the BSA portion of the Gamo part. But anyway, you gotta like it. Also, the cat trigger. The cat trigger is a winner, especially with my trigger screw kit installed. Again, I'm gonna remind you, best 10 bucks you will ever spend on a cat or a sat trigger. Amazing, turns this into a matte style trigger, makes the gun an absolute pleasure, pleasure to shoot, without a doubt. I like the Whisper technology. I like the suppressor on this. It works, it's uh, proven time and time again, and it makes it absolutely backyard friendly. 
Yeah, overall, this is one amazing gamma rifle. It really is. I can't say enough good things about it. I could just go on and on. This is actually moving up the list to probably one of my top favorite gamma rifles. It really is. And I think this hardwood stock really makes it. Now, I haven't got around to putting my bipod kit on it. Am I a little hesitant to put it on this stock? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I just haven't had time, so I'll decide if I'm going to put some rails on it or not. But uh, how would I rate this gun? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Five stars all the way. This is a five-star rifle. You want a picture-perfect five-star rifle? This is it, right here in front of you, without a doubt. Again, I'll remind you of the optics on this. This is a BSA uh, scope. This is one of their outlets, the 3x9x40. Um, that company is also uh, owned now by Gamo. But I'll put a link down there. I think I got this one off Amazon. Uh, pretty inexpensive. But uh, they're designed for the reverse recoil, and they carry a pretty good warranty. So this is a perfect match. Plus, I told you, rather than stock scopes, this one doesn't come with a scope, just to remind you again. It doesn't come with any optics. But you do have your choice of open sights on it, which is nice. All right, with that, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time. I hope you and your families are doing great. You're getting plenty of shooting in. So you take care and God bless.